U.S. Treasury sanctions North Korean-owned Binance wallets, says entities used funds to support WMD programs The Binance-hosted wallets received more than $2 million worth of various cryptocurrencies that were then sent on to North Korean entities, OFAC alleged U.S. Officials on Tuesday sanctioned a swath of crypto-holding wallets with alleged ties to the North Korean government, according to a statement from the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFAC. The blacklisted wallets, which contained Bitcoin, Ether, Tether's USDT and Circle's USDC Dash belong to an individual named Sang Man Kim, a 58-year-old North Korean citizen, OFAC alleged. The wallets were hosted by crypto exchange Binance. That's not to say Binance actively controlled the wallets, they appear to be automatically generated wallet addresses hosted by the exchange that any user can sign up for. There have been no transactions to or from these addresses over the past year, according to blockchain data. The DPRK conducts malicious cyber activities and deploys information technology, IT, workers who fraudulently obtain employment to generate revenue, including in virtual currency to support the Kim regime and its priorities, such as its unlawful weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missile programs, the OFAC press release said. Binance had previously come under fire for allegedly facilitating bad actors' efforts to circumvent sanctions. The exchange has since implemented stringent policies to purge North Korean actors from its platform. Binance Financial Crime Compliance Head to Grand Gambarian told Coindesk in April. North Korean linked hackers have executed a number of sizable exploits in the digital assets industry. In follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.